Hey there guys, it's Lee here, welcome to another video. So um, last night I was reading on the uh, Bitcoin Talk uh, forum, which is a really good uh, crypto forum. Um, if you haven't checked that already, I recommend that you do so. Do so. It's got the best um, information on what's happening in the whole um, crypto uh, kind of uh, community and ecosystem. So um, last night I was reading about um, Burstcoin, which is a, a crypto that I'm quite interested in. And that's all to do with uh, mining um, using your hard drive rather than uh, graphics cards, CPUs or ASIC miners, things like that. So uh, there is a new development by a developer called uh, Blago and he's released a new version of his uh, Burstcoin miner. So the previous version was really good. Um, it was actually um, a recent update and it actually had um, a 100% speed increase over the previous version to that. Um, so that was a really good um, you know, performance increase. Um, uh, on the actual miner itself, the scan times, my original scan times were over, um, I think it's like 120 seconds, and now they're down to like about 54, 55 seconds, so really good. And the scan times, you want them as low as possible, because that gives you the best chance of submitting your deadline and uh, winning the reward for the uh, current block in the actual blockchain for Burstcoin. So the new miner is 1.160413. Uh, nice and easy to remember. Um, but the improvements that are supposed to be uh, in this one, uh, you'll see on the actual screen here, is it uses um, AVX, which is a instruction set, um, and that should provide a, a performance increase between 5 and 15%, so any performance increase is always welcome. Um, the other new feature is this uh, use uh, hard drive wake up, um, and that's actually quite a cool um, feature because what happens with uh, Burstcoin is the, the blocks are normally set to four minute blocks, but sometimes the blocks can go on for much longer than that. So sometimes, occasionally, you'll get blocks that go on for like 10 minutes or 15 minutes or sometimes even 20 minutes. Um, when that happens, if you have a, a particularly long block, um, your hard drives will um, go into power saving mode and they'll all spin down. So then what happens is on the next block, once it's been found, your hard drives have got like a, a delay or a lag before they actually spin up to full speed and you can start reading them. So that adds an extra sort of 10 or 15 seconds on your your next deadline um, because it takes you, there's that lag in between. So this is quite a cool feature. So what it's gonna do is every six minutes, it's gonna kind of like ping the hard drives and um, keep them continuously spinning. So um, you're not gonna get the power saving features, but really um, the hard drives don't use very much power at all anyway. So it's not gonna be um, a big deal. Yeah, I think having that, um, having the hard drives working um, or, or, or basically being ready all the time rather than going into like a sleep state is much better. It's a cool feature. Um, the other two features is there is a bug. Um, some people are saying that they was having problems with the uh, proxy mode. Um, I personally don't use that so that doesn't make any difference to me. Um, and the second one was... So excuse me. Um, the second bug fix was the uh, show winner uh, feature, so you can see who won the previous uh, block. It will just give you their um, burst coin address and it will show you who won the previous block. That wasn't working. Um, so, um, okay, we're ready for that, so let's um, let's uh, try it out. Um, I'm not actually going to be installing it on this current PC, which is the um, home PC. Um, I'm going to be using it on what I call the Worker Free, which is a really um, smart name, I thought, uh, you know, really... Uh, genius idea. Um, so Worker Free, which is the one that you would have seen in my previous videos, um, it's got the A10-7700K and we recently done a um, CPU upgrade, uh, not sorry, not a CPU upgrade, a CPU heatsink upgrade, which wasn't really quite an upgrade, but but anyway, moving on. Okay, so this is the, the system, um, I've just uh, logged in using TeamViewer, so it's Worker Free. Um, so in the top right hand corner we've got the Ethereum miner, that's working well on our 280X, that's doing great. Um, bottom right hand side, um, I also started using HODL coin mining, it's a CPU miner, um, I installed that on this system as well. Um, and it's only using three threads, um, it's getting about 60 hashes per second, but the good thing about that is it's basically saving one thread for other system uh, resources. So it doesn't affect the Ethereum miner and it doesn't affect the uh, uh, Blago Burstcoin miner either. So you can see on the previous uh, blocks, we've got these sort of scan times, uh, uh, 54 seconds, 54 seconds. So that's kind of about the base target that we want to be um, achieving 
or, or improving upon. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to close all of these windows. Um, there, oh, this was another bug. Um, I'm not too sure if we got around to fixing that. But, uh, anyway, um, yeah, actually, I'll just leave the, the Blago Burst Coin Miner closed, and then we shall um, go ahead with the actual install. So I'm just going to go back to the home PC. I'm just going to copy the uh, link location, and then we'll go back to the uh, worker, and we shall um, download it. Save. Um, in the background, the gigabyte stuff, just ignore that. That was some, um, I was there loading a uh, overclocking utility specifically for the gigabyte cards. And because I was having some problems with the, um, the MSI afterburner, I wasn't working properly with it. Um, anyway, so that's um, downloaded. Let's go um, open that up. Close that browser now. Yeah, close all. Okay, so yeah, the previous version was one six zero four zero seven. Extract it. Um, oh, actually, that's one thing I didn't actually check. Um, I was supposed to check. Kind of forgot it. Uh, we need to check the. Um, Instruction set for this chip. I'm pretty sure. I'm like 99% sure it supports it. Uh, so the processor is a A10-7700K, and I oh yeah, can just source here. There. Is it gone? Um, yeah. So the instruction set extensions. Yeah, AVX. Um, yeah, for this um, improved performance Blago runner, it needs to support your chip needs to be um, the AVX instruction set. So now that that's checked, we can continue on. Um, what I'm going to do is my go and find the previous install location because I've now got like four installations of these um, Blago miners. So I'm just going to copy my, um, actually I'm not going to copy, going to edit, okay. So that is my default configuration. And if I go back to the actual, um, it's a little bit laggy because obviously I'm using a remote view and the, uh, the Ethereum mine is still running uh, as well. And then, Yeah, sorry, I just lost what I was doing. So this is the new version. So I'm just going to edit the config file. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put my original config files into this one. So really, the, all that's changed is the, uh, the plots. So I'm just going to update these plots. So the cache size, I'm going to leave that as it was, which was uh, 10,000. Um, I just need to update the pool. Which is just uh, burst.ninja. Um, I'll leave the, the info address, I'll leave that as it is because there's some problems with that before. Um, what else do we need to change? I think that's it. Okay, so on the new one, it debugs true, and then we've got this uh, use hard drive, uh, keep awake, that's active. Um, everything else is kind of the same. Um, okay, that's fine. So let's um, save that as our config file. We'll save that. Close it. We'll close the original one. Uh, we're back in a downloads folder, so we just need to go. Where is it gone? Uh, 
Um, ah, Plum just having like a really um, just a moment there. Okay, so we've set up the config file, and then we've got two miners in here, and this one I presume supports the uh, AVX instruction set, so it should be faster. So let's uh, double click on that and see what happens. So okay, just a Windows warning there. I'm just going to close these other windows because it kind of looks like something is um, not happening. Everything looks a little bit different when you come doing it remotely. It's the, I think it's just like the resolution difference it makes it. Uh, like your eyes don't immediately click onto stuff. Um, so let's try the uh, the AVX version. Um, now I'm wondering, was I don't know, was that was that my mistake in the in the previous section? I don't know because I'm kind of wondering maybe I should have clicked the more info then run anyway instead of just clicking OK because that kind of just closes the uh, yeah it's it's my fault isn't it? God, I don't know. Well, what I'm gonna say is that I've not long woken up, so I think that's the reason for. Um, the slowness in the, in my thinking this morning, so uh, we'll leave it there. Okay, so that was actually a, a forty eight point three seconds, which is faster than the previous versions. Uh, plot sizes, yeah, just making sure it's got all of my actual plots there. Uh, that's all running fine. Um, so what I will do is I will leave this one running and then I will um, start up the other tool. So we've got the, uh, the Ethereum miner. I just want to make sure it's the right version. Um, like I said, because there's been so many uh, developments recently, I've got like multiple versions of um, each of the miners, so it's kind of difficult to keep up just with the actual shortcuts. I should probably really um, clean up the desktop. Um, and this is our hot oil miner. So we'll leave that there. Let's move that over. Okay, that looks great. Um, okay, what I'll do is I'll, I'll pop back in like 10 minutes and we'll see how everything's been running and we'll continue on from there. Okay, guys, we are back. So the, uh, the machine has been working away for about um, 10 to 15 minutes, something like that, and um, I thought I'd just take a quick look at it now and just see how it's performing uh, versus the previous version of the uh, Blago Miner. Um, you can see it just actually hit a block now and it's kind of uh, scanning through. Um, so I'll just let that continue. It um, should only be about 20 seconds more, something like that, and then we'll just um, talk about exactly what our findings are. So the previous miner was getting around about 55 seconds uh, for each block, which is actually really good. It is a really good improvement over the previous uh, version. Um, and this one, just looking through the previous blocks, it looks to be very good. Um, so uh, just before it's finished there, uh, we, we've uh, encountered another block. So that's why it's just uh, you know, almost got to like 99% and then it just uh, restarts. That's because someone else found a new block uh, before us or submit a short deadline and a new block was found before us. But um, I was just looking through these last few don't really sort of reflect the performance uh, increase. There's got 52 seconds there, 50 seconds, and that last block it didn't um, complete. Um, but the ones that I was looking at before that were about um, between 45 seconds up to 50 seconds. 
So it looks like we're getting about 10% improvement in terms of performance. And um, yeah, any performance increases um, are a really good uh, beneficial thing. Um, so yeah, Blago's um, done his work again and um, has increased our uh, mining speed and everything again. So uh, 53 seconds on that one, which is still faster than all the previous ones. Um, don't forget that we are also sort of uh, multi-mining on this particular machine. Um, if we close down all the other applications, we'll probably get a slight improvement there as well. But really, I'm just looking for a, an overall uh, performance kind of increase. So that's why I use this machine, particularly for a, a broad uh, range of mining, um, just to get the most efficiency out of the actual machine itself. So yeah, that's it for this video. So uh, thanks for watching, guys. Till next time. See you.